We're deploying new approaches to the threat posed by Iran, and we're doing so with our eyes wide open and with no illusions. We know the imperative of preventing Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons. After years during which the United States basically sat on the sidelines, we are now a full partner in the P5 plus one talks. Uh, we have concluded that uh, it is going to be a more successful engagement if our partners around the world understand that they must work with us and support our efforts, including tougher sanctions. And I've had a number of conversations over the course of the last 90 plus days with um, allies, partners, and other nations concerned about Iran's uh, continuing ambitions for nuclear weapons. I think there are three points I would make, Mr. Chairman. One, the fact that we are engaging, that we have fully participated in the P5 plus one uh, uh, process actually gives us more leverage with other nations. Number two, I think the fact that we have been willing to go even beyond the P5 plus one and to reach out to Iran, to invite them as I did to the conference in The Hague on Afghanistan, increases even further our ability to ask more from other nations. And finally, I think our engagement, uh, which we have no illusions about, as I mentioned to you, uh, puts us on much stronger international footing. So I want to assure you that we will be operating on dual tracks. Yes, we are more than willing to reach out to the Iranians to discuss a range of issues, assuming they're willing to reach back. As the President said in his inaugural address, we'll hold out our hand, they have to unclench their fist. But we are also laying the groundwork for the kind of very tough, I think you said, crippling sanctions that might be necessary uh, in the event that our offers are either rejected or the process is inconclusive or unsuccessful. 